Earwigs are part of the Dermatera insect order. Dermatera is a combination of the Greek words derma, meaning skin, and terra, meaning wings. The name itself comes from an old folk's tale that suggests that these bugs would crawl into the ears of people and lay eggs inside the brain. This, however, is a fictional tale that does not hold any scientific fact. They do, however, have two long pincers protruding at the end of their body, which is where they get their nickname, the pincher bug. Earwigs are nocturnal scavenger insects that spends its time sleeping during the day and hunting and eating at night. They are rather antisocial bugs, not belonging to any queen or colony, thus making earwig infestations a rare occurrence. Their lives are spent continuously searching for hospitable environments while hunting and eating in its active time. The common earwig is an omnivore, eating plants and ripe fruit as well as actively hunting arthropods. To a large extent, this species is also a scavenger, feeding on decaying plant and animal matter if given the chance. Observed prey include largely plant lice, but also large insects such as blue bottle flies and woolly aphids. Plants that feed on typically include clover, dahlias, zinnias, butterfly bush, hollyhock, lettuce, cauliflower, strawberry, blackberry, sunflower, celery, peaches, plums, grapes, potatoes, roses, seedling beans and beets, and tender grass shoots and roots. They have also been known to eat corn silk, damaging the corn. Earwigs have an average lifespan of one year. The mating season for earwigs is in autumn and winter, with eggs typically hatched in the spring. Earwigs undergo metamorphosis in which they change stages from egg to nymph to adult. They will molt five times in the process of becoming an adult. Earwigs have a set of pincers that protrudes out of their very flexible abdomen. Their pincers or forceps have multiple uses as they can be used to fend off an attacking predator or utilized to catch a prey. It is also said they use them in their mating rituals. You can identify a male versus female earwig quite easily by looking at their pincers. A male will have two distinct curved pincers, while a female has two more narrow straight pincers. While the pincers give them their distinctive look, earwigs are not very dangerous to people or pets. Most earwigs are attracted to bright lights, even though they are nocturnal insects. This makes places such as patios and porches where night lights shine brightest a common place to find them. For a habitat, earwigs are attracted to an environment that is cool and wet, thus making basements a common location for earwigs to reside in. For a food source, they are often attracted to the smells of foods that are oily, greasy, or sweet. Earwigs have numerous predators that like to feed on them. Common creatures around the home that like to prey on earwigs include birds, lizards, frogs, centipedes, spiders, and yellow jackets. If you're looking to naturally get rid of earwigs outside the home, attracting birds with feeders and bird houses can help invite one of their most dangerous predators. While earwigs are known to be scary looking anti-social nice scavengers, they are a very beneficial insect, ecologically speaking. Known as environmental janitors, earwigs will feast on dead and decaying plants and insects. This is great for keeping a garden clean and maintaining the look and feel of the greenery.